This is a pair of tweezers made in Ethiopia. Women often wear them as a pendant around their neck. They can be used to pick out a thorn or a splinter. But in areas plagued by the eye disease trachoma, they can be used for something far more gruesome. Trachoma is a preventable bacterial infection found in the poorest communities in the world, mostly in Africa. Before her vision is impaired, it could be saved. It's mainly spread between mothers and their children. A mother's touch on her child's face, a child's embrace. These simple, loving encounters can transmit trachoma. Over the years, the cycle of infection and reinfection between mother and child makes women twice as likely as men to develop the end stage of trachoma. The eyelid becomes scarred, causing it to turn inward. Every blink is excruciating as the eyelashes, now inverted toward the eye, scrape the cornea. Bright equatorial sunlight, the smoke from cooking fires, and dust from farming, all common in trachoma endemic villages in Africa, add to the misery. Soon, completing simple chores like cooking a meal or watching over young children become impossible. Without treatment, a trachiasis sufferer will become blind. Simple, low-cost tools exist that can wipe out trachoma once and for all. But there are still people who have only one way to stop their suffering from trachoma. Taking a tweezer and plucking out their own lashes or having a family member pluck them for them. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Nobody should have to do this. The Carter Center is working in partnership with the world's worst affected trachoma communities to stop this terrible disease by 2020. And you can help. Visit cartercenter.org to learn more.